Humanity is very, very loyal. We don't find teachings of how loyal to humanity is. And we need a lot of that teaching. We need a lot of that. There are certain things we need to understand about humanity and there are certain things that we need to analyze within the humanity because humanity keeps giving us all these signals to show us how loyal it is, to show us how much life must go on. We also believe that um, pregnancy and newborn babies <clears throat> in this day in time, 2022, we are seeing people still falling pregnant. Babies are born. Mainly because this is one of the way humanity is showing us that life must go on. Life still has to go on. And humanity, the, the universe, God as well, he is showing us through these things. If, if life this world was coming to an end we wouldn't be pregnant we wouldn't be having babies but we are going through these things of de human development and remember this is not our doing we're not in control this is just God's way of showing us that life must go on and my life must go on it's not coming to an end it's coming to an end if your eyes are closed, if you make it come to an end. But you need to move forward. Um, you know, sometimes you go through certain things where you are a very relevant person within the community. You are, um, You are well respected and you didn't choose to do that but by your actions by the way you carry yourself how you value yourself and by where you at currently in life because certain things happen in our life not because we choose it's just that that's where we are it's the same thing as when people think you are arrogant and you are rude that's where you are and it doesn't mean you're gonna be there forever But it happens that when you when you go through that stage where just naturally people see you, they can hear you, they feel your presence, they respect it, they acknowledge you, you also can feel that, okay, I've got an image to maintain. But we go through some time in life where without people telling you that, life takes you to a part where you get to devalue yourself you don't find respect inside you 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 don't find value in you 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 find yourself worthless we all go through that we all go through that where you're just not motivated you you feel like i don't want to go out there I'm not ready to deal with these people. I'm not really ready to deal with this. And yeah. But to show you how loyal humanity is, when you go out there and you just have no interest, people will still be loyal to that respect they give you. They will still give you that space that they always gave you. They will still give you that. And it makes it even better although you are demotivated and you're feeling worthless and you have devalued yourself because of the circumstances you're going through but if your heart is still clean it makes it way better it makes things it makes you understand this is the moment where it helps you to get uplifted now that's how humanity proves to you just humans they proving to you that we are loyal we are loyal to respecting you. We are loyal to acknowledging your presence. So is you. You do it to other people. You don't know what they're going through. You, you're just looking at the face. You're like, they don't look okay. But you're still loyal to that respect that you gave them. Now in Africa, one of the less continents, 
with its country is that even wanting to put these loyalty into teaching where <coughs> they created we can call it titles but it's yeah well it's it's titles or names that they will give it to the woman that gave birth to you and any other woman in that ranking we will call the mother we also have a man that gave birth to you and any other man in that ranking we will call them father in fact we don't call them father we call your father father but you call a normally man at your father's age dad and you call the other woman ma and then you've got your brothers and sisters and you've got your cousins you've got your aunties and when all of these things happen what happens is um, no matter how angry you are at your father the teachings of humanity that I love especially in Africa is that it doesn't matter what your father is we we don't or you don't approach your father by his first name it's it's forbidden you don't it doesn't matter what your emotions are towards him but you don't approach him with his first name you'll always approach him as dad your sister even if your sister is in prison you still say my sister is in prison you don't say so and so um, I find it in in, in, in the Western countries um, it's a norm to call sometimes your mom by their first name or even your sisters and uncles by their first names but when you look at this and and although I'm using Africa it's just that it's it's there all over the world it's all over the world but when you look at those things these are the things that human had analyzed the 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 the, the, the life and then they say we need to keep this because it brings us hope it reminds us that universe wants the life to come it reminds us that god wants life to come it reminds us that god wants life to go on and you never know you might be just calling that man dad you might be just calling that lady or that man you don't know hello uncle and when you're saying that you you just don't know what impact you've done you've just restored that when that man was just walking hopelessly and got devalued or he had devalued himself and saw himself as nothing and you've just proven to somebody that yes brother humanity is loyal and yes it is so the words we use have a huge impact hence we read in the book of life the bible some people will read the quran or some people will read different books in different religions they will tell us that god created the world he spoke it was the word because the word creates so when you speak you are speaking you are speaking creation Whew, you are speaking creation and creation everything that's created we have to speak it yes it goes through your thoughts but if it's not spoken most of the time it's not going through so the words we then speak to other people or towards other people the choice of words we use whether we are upset or we're happy or we're angry or whatever that's driving us we just need to understand it's going to create that person so that is why even the very ancient guys they taught us these things that that's a mom that's uncle that's dead that's so and so because they wanted us to or they wanted us to be reminded that we create because everyone your light is shining to a certain level certain pe uh, certain person in a certain day their light is shining very very bright and someone's light is very dim and someone's light is just bright and our light shines in different ways but just by somebody using a certain type of choice of words your light could be very very bright but through those words it will go dark and dim very very quickly and through certain words when the light was bright it will even remain bright and in certain words when the light was very bright 
it goes black and dark like as if it doesn't exist in a split second because of the choice of words we use so it is very important as as the living generation to consistently analyze and teach live and build generational world not our wealth and be selfish generational wealth it is it is therefore important for us to understand that when you plant a tree you might not enjoy that shade somebody else your generation generations to come will enjoy that shade without even knowing that it's you but it's the words you use as you build a tree it's the words you use and understand that this tree will serve many many generations you're using this these words on nature When you use these words and understand generational world, most of the time it's impossible just to build your world. You build it, but you have to build it with generations in mind. And it's all about the choice of words you use. We've seen a lot of people crashing and we've seen a lot of people rising through the words they use. So it takes a special woman, it takes a special man to understand that when I plant this tree, I may not enjoy the fruits, I may not enjoy the shade. It's a generational fruit, it's a generation, generational tra- um, um, a shade. So is the words, so is everyone stepping on your wrong side? Is everyone making you upset? Everyone just not cutting it for you, it's making you angry. But the choice of words, it's like, they are choosing to do that but you have the responsibility on how to respond so the choice of words you use in their response it's for generational i mean like we we we've landed in hospitals we've landed in in different facilities in 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 in, in, in police stations and then you get you get helped by a stranger where you like you look at the stranger and you're like this could have been the man I would have sown, sworn, or have treated unfairly or just angry with anger at the robot or somewhere where I was going. This man could have upset me. But here he is as a stranger. I'm telling them my story and they're helping me. Here I am desperate for my life in a hospital and I'm depending on this person. Imagine if this person, him and I or her and I had had um, a conflict, maybe on a road range. How will the story go now? How will that story go? So that is why it's very important to to speak the words and plant the trees, not just for yourself, but for generations to come. A lot of trees that we plant, we plant them for generations to come, not for ourselves. It's once again a generational thing and if life or life has to not go on it will be through our selfishness when we become selfish it life will not go on but when we become loyal to humanity remember life doesn't owe you anything you indeed owes no one anything however whatever you build is not for you the generational world so people out there understand this humanity is very 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 loyal <laughs> and it's not about just the choice of words we use towards or against people even on yourself when you're describing when you do something and you're doing a project and then the project does not come out pleasing as you would have hoped it to be pleasing so the choice of words you use to criticize this and it it will it will break you forever we've got massive traffic here but in this province of ours this is normal
humanity is very loyal and people will always push you up the ladder and we know people are very loyal they're very loyal to your appearance they're very loyal to how you see them and life is built in a way that people has to push you up the ladder no, not yourself it's your effort that will call the people to push you up the ladder as much as it's them pushing you up the ladder but the effort that you put in will call them to say here's somebody and that's how loyal people are so it's okay when you're not feeling well about yourself it's okay when you're not in the state of mind that you usually at but keep your heart clean because people will still see it and they know but they will be loyal to you and that loyalty will boost you up it will bring you back believe me i am old enough to have seen these things take place I am old enough to see these things take place. It will hit you unexpectedly when you see the 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 loyalty of humanity. It will just hit you like that and you're like, "Yo, people still believe in me. People still approach me and refer to me as this when I thought I was worthless already." And they they doing this. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that you you will never forget. It restores your faith, but when your heart is not clean, it will destroy you even more. That is why no matter what you're going through, make sure you are patient. Make sure you keep your heart clean because when people act good towards you and they show you that loyalty, if your heart is really really not clean, it's going to destroy you to dust. But when your heart is clean and people show and act like that towards you and they show you that loyalty, you will rise from nothing you will rise from nothing and you will do it this life one of the reason why we here is to learn information or learn knowledge and pass on knowledge pass on the knowledge through the words you use good words be kind to the next person share the light in many ways some people share it in a humorous way some people share it in a very fatherly manner or motherly manner some people share it in just a neutral way some people share it through the teachings of the books of life in different religions pick yours and share it and just share the light somebody needs to hear something from you somebody needs to hear some somebody is just waiting for the word and they write on the line right on the line on just the line and they start to get torn apart and just you coming across and using that word you have no idea and they won't tell you but should one day you meet your creator and they said that word you use on that person that's how that person lost it in life because in 2 3 months time you're going to see that person on the street you have no idea that it was that word you used and 3 months later you see that person starting that business and it's flourishing and you just walking into a shop or into a business and you asking for these services not knowing that you once came across this person when they were right in that veg of line and you just had used that one word and it built them just like that so just always 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 be kind to the next person do not let them walk over your head do not let people walk over your head do not let people treat you unfairly but be kind to the next person we can all do it and we have a responsibility to do it and the thing about this if you don't do it no one is going to hurt you no one is going to force you but life will eventually hurt you so find a way to to do it in your way good luck i'm sharing the peace and light and and love with you love yourself love everything that you do speak the right words to yourself blessings to you and your family